All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And I know I've been gone for about a week at this point. I just kind of took some time to detox a little bit from the whole YouTube process and using Twitter so much. I tried to at least limit my internet uh, exposure over the last few days a little bit. I didn't, you know, completely get off the internet, but I wasn't uploading or anything like that just to take a break. And you're going to notice that in this video, I'm doing some Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay. Uh, it's a game that I just bought again on PC, uh, and I just kind of want to play back through it, not only for the gameplay, but also for the experience. And that's kind of on topic for today's video anyway, because I want to talk about Grand Theft Auto V how it's been milked to oblivion at this point, and how we really need Grand Theft Auto 6, I think, more than ever at this point. So the last time that I kind of talked about the video game industry, I referred to Grand Theft Auto 5 as like a game that I constantly revisit, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how Grand Theft Auto 5 doesn't need to be rehashed again, and I think that people are going to see this as a conflict of, you know, opinion slash interest here, but in reality, I think people don't understand the point that I can play Grand Theft Auto 5 30 times. You know, it is that good of a game. The story I thought was pretty great. The online mode is questionable. I mean, if, if you have time or money to put into it, yeah, it's a great experience. But if you don't have one or either of those things, you're pretty much just not going to have a great time. You're going to be blown up uh, by people flying around on missile bikes or people on PC are going to be, you know, locking you in cages through cheats and stuff like that. So if you didn't notice, uh, Grand Theft Auto V has been announced for the PlayStation Showcase 2021 event, which took place about three days ago on, I think, September 9th. Essentially what this announcement slash trailer was, was them announcing Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online are going to be ported once again to the new consoles that have come through the PS5 and the new Xbox. Obviously, they did this with the PS4 and the Xbox One back when those consoles came out in, like, what, 2013? Going into 2014, like, pretty much right after Grand Theft Auto actually came out was when we were seeing the new consoles. And that's kind of, like, a, a big point of contention, I guess, with a lot of the gaming community. Uh, if you didn't notice, Grand Theft Auto V will be coming to the new consoles with improved graphics, expanded gameplay, things like that, right? They use the same buzzwords... Every time that they release Grand Theft Auto V on a new device and they make it out like it's going to be this completely new experience, when in reality, it's been the same for about seven years. Grand Theft Auto V, now that I have it on PC, like, I can replay that, you know, because in all reality, with my PC, I mean, I have a 2080 and everything, right? I'm going to have pretty much the best visual and best experience overall that I can have with this game. I mean, I hate to be that PC elitist guy because that shit's really annoying, but like objectively, you know, I'm going to probably have better graphics than somebody on a console, right? Unless I choose not to. I don't need to rebuy this game, okay? I've already bought Grand Theft Auto V three separate times now. I bought it for the PS3 when it came out. I bought it for the PS4 again uh, when I got a PS4. And then, of course, I bought it on PC. This isn't something that needs to keep getting redone, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of other people really agree with that. So the trailer came out for the PS5, and it currently is sitting... At 22,000 likes and 74,000 dislikes, it has been dislike bombed into oblivion. And one comment I actually really, really like here, actually two, three comments I want to highlight. So the professional, who's actually a GTA YouTuber I watch, says, is this really expanded and enhanced? It looks no different than the PS4 version. They even showed the Deluxos at the end blowing people up, even though a lot of players hate the futuristic vehicles. Remember when Rockstar used to be respected for not being like EA or Activision? I can't tell if this looks any better considering I've been watching insane graphic PC mods for the last six years. Now, all three of these comments, I think, really highlight a different side of the argument I'm trying to make here. So, first off, the professional is absolutely correct. It really doesn't look any different than the PS4 version. I mean, maybe the textures will load in a little bit better. Maybe the frame rates will be a little bit more consistent. But in all reality, it isn't any different than the game that we've been playing since, you know, Obama was president, right? Like, this game has not fucking changed in seven years. Like, sure, they've added updates, you know, they've added heists and whatnot. They, they've done the cool stuff, right? They, they, they've got the content that keeps you coming back. But has the game really been expanded and enhanced? I would never argue that that's the case. You know what would make it an expanded and enhanced reason for me to play Grand Theft Auto V again? Another reason for me to purchase something with Grand Theft Auto V is if they dropped the story mode DLC that people have been wanting since the game came out. And it's getting to this point, man, where it's like, this, I think, would be the saving grace for Grand Theft Auto V as a game. If they dropped a campaign, uh, like an extension, you know how, I guess, Grand Theft Auto IV had 
like the Ballad of Gay Tony, and then it had uh, like episodes from Liberty City, I think. No, I might be wrong on that, but it had like the biker expansion part too. That was such an incredible addition to that game. The fact that they added all of that stuff to the game, and you know, I'm pretty sure it added in new radio stations, and it, you know, added new characters and missions and things like that. That's the kind of content that people really, I think, are looking for. I, I guess, you know, it, it's proven somewhat wrong by the fact that Grand Theft Auto V is the most profitable piece of entertainment ever created, and the online mode still pulls in so much money that they can delay any future Grand Theft Auto game infinitely at this point. But for people like me, man, I I'm not playing Grand Theft Auto Online, right? I'm not playing Grand Theft Auto Online. I'm not doing this GTAO shit where everyone's riding around on, on the futuristic vehicles and blowing you up. You can't get any supply missions done to get money, which is the only thing that you can really do in the game in the first place, because if you don't fucking grind your way to a solo lobby through matchmaking, you're, you're just going to get fucking killed. Like I said, on PC, people are hacking left and right. It's only a matter of time, if not already happening, that people are finding ways to cheat in the, you know, console versions of the game. Like, dude, I'm not buying this game again, okay? Like, yeah, it's coming out on PS5. That's great. That's awesome. But no, okay? Simply no, Rockstar. Give me something worth buying, and I will actually consider purchasing. You know what would really, I think, be a, a good buy? Is Grand Theft Auto 6, man. I mean, like this guy said in the comments, right? Like, I can't tell if it looks better because there's been insane graphic PC mods for the last six years. I mean, there's people who are turning, you know, GTA 5 into this hyper-realistic 4K experience that completely graphically triumphs any original part of the game. It's getting to the point where the shit looks like real life. Like, they're not graphically expanding beyond that, especially with, like, a, a console version of the game where a lot of the times, you know, people can't mod shit, right? They, they can't go it through with modding. Well, they can, but it, it's a lot harder or, I guess, more tedious, I should say. And, like, you can see the disappointment in these comments and in these dislikes and in and, and all the videos that people are making you know, talking about this, because it's fucking ridiculous. Rockstar makes some of the best video games of all time. Like, everything they drop is a hit. They do a great job. They are, you know, the penultimate games that come out that year a lot of the times. But, like, this is just getting to the point of not being acceptable, right? This is like Bethesda releasing Skyrim for, you know, a Nestle water bottle. Like, people have been clowning them for a decade for that shit. And, you know, it's getting to this point where Rockstar is going down that path. I get it's profitable, but man, can we just get GTA 6 already? Like, everyone's waiting on it. Even the people playing GTA Online, they're like, dude, I wish GTA 6 was out right now. I would be playing that shit. And it's like, they don't even have to shut down GTA 5 Online, right? Because I really think that Grand Theft Auto is, like, such a popular online game anyway that, like... They could deadass just have GTA 5 servers and GTA 6 servers and still be making shit tons of money. Because there will be the people who stick to Grand Theft Auto 5. And there will be the people who move on to Grand Theft Auto 6 and, you know, spend $60 or even more for you guys without buying the same game for the fourth time. But it is a smart, you know, business decision for Rockstar here, right? You know, they, they get to release the same game repeatedly and make, you know, as much money as they want. Absolutely, you know, you're going to think that that's the best route. But as a consumer, it just, you know, can't be justified buying this game again. I just can't go through with it. Like, watch this trailer, okay? This is, by the way, I know it's not labeled, but this is the new PlayStation Showcase 2021 trailer. You're, you're watching this right now. Please tell me what about this looks any different than even what released on the PS4. You know, like people have said. There's literally no difference. This is the same game. It barely looks any different. It's barely, you know, any visually more improved. It's just yet another way for Rockstar to put the same product out and make even more money. And I'm just not feeling it, man. And a lot of other people aren't either. So I don't know if this is going to be the wake-up call that finally tells Rockstar to release Grand Theft Auto 6. Or at least give us a fucking update on it, but... I would say that this is a pretty strong reaction from the community. You know, people are not really enjoying the antics anymore, so hopefully, maybe, we can get an update on a new Rockstar game for everybody to play, right? Because the thing is, is they've obviously abandoned Red Dead Online for GTA Online. I mean, let's be real. You know, people still play Red Dead Online and everything, and that's great, but at the end of the day, dude, like, it, it just doesn't get the support GTA Online does. And that's understandable because GTA Online is so profitable, but at the same time, it's like, god damn, man, you know, they're just going for this cash cow so hard. 
And it's, I don't know, man, I'm just wanting something different. And like I said in my most recent video where I was kind of like talking about my, you know, current feelings in the video game industry, I feel no real incentive to play any games. Like the only games I'm really playing right now is like Black Ops 2 Plutonium, Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode for 30 minutes at a time, then I get off. Occasionally games like CSGO will pop into rotation, but like that's pretty much what I'm playing. Like I'm playing older games because... All the new games suck, and like, a new Grand Theft Auto is gonna be the game that I think we all really kinda need, but, you know, Rockstar's more focused on this shit. And it's sad, man, but with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch, at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. Also, I'm going to be doing a poll on my channel regarding reactivating my second channel to do, you know, more videos, I guess, kind of talking about the video game industry and stuff like that. Uh, I've been kind of making these videos recently where I've been talking about specific video games, specific topics in the gaming industry, and at this point, man, I feel like maybe it would be better to upload those to my second channel. That way... It kind of, you know, puts a barrier between the content and allows, you know, each one to thrive in their own respective, I guess, ecosystems or whatnot. So if you wouldn't mind, if you're enjoying videos like this, go vote on that poll and let me know if it should stay on the main channel or not. And with that being said, though, this is Optimus talking about GTA Online and signing out.